The second of our enchanted heroes was Pontius the Knight. Just before the quest was about to begin, Pontius was out and about with his duties. And to that end, he was headed towards the Cursed Manor. The derelict manor had once belonged to a recently departed knight. After his funeral, the knight had returned from the grave, undead and bitterly wrathful and troubling to his neighbors. But Pontius had come to take care of the matter, armed with a sword, a shield, and the hope that there would be pie after his task was over. Shame about the house. This must have been a snug little place back in the day, with tended fields full of everything good you'd want to eat in a pie. <laughs> It's a haunted old manor, but I cleverly chose to come here at noon. Cursed undead knights don't look so scary in the daylight. How a good knight can turn into such a miserable villain, that I'll never understand. There's little you understand, fellow knight. But I was once much like you. What a strange dead fellow. Wounded in combat, I became useless. I was discharged from service. I became an embarrassment to other knights. In the end, I was abandoned by my friends, by my servants, left alone to rot here in this backwater house. That's no excuse for your evil doing!
Cool. Then come, let us do battle. Sir, you can't stand light, sir. <laughs> Let's find some more lights then. Letter addressed to Sir Pontius. Well, I'll be. That's me! Good Sir Pontius the Knight, hero of Trine. We have an unfortunate case of a missing prince, but we trust with your extraordinary skills, you'll find him swiftly. Within a dream, you summon your shadow. Beside this spell and watch it grow. Prince Celius has some talent for magic, but some time ago he was involved in an accident using his powers. <gasps> so he is to be treated firmly, but gently. Our last hero was Zoya. Like Amadeus and Pontius, she was also enchanted with the mystical powers of Trine. Fate and fortune had brought her to a city overrun by merry revelry, but cheerful festivities were the last thing on Zoya's mind. As the quest was about to begin, Zoya had been up all night, doing things becoming to her secretive nature. Perhaps not all of those things she was up to were appropriate for a hero. Yo, Jim, man, won't you, won't you kick some of that, you know? You, you know how you do it, man. It's a trip, people don't even believe we're together right now. But, but, but tell your story, you know the one I like. Say it for me. Riders on the storm.